Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to the property. Most important. Property. Most importantly, it's in the positives out here. Look at us. Heat wave. Look at us. A hoodie? Are you kidding? <laughs> Henry's sleeping. We're gonna get him wrapped up and we're gonna go do some snow removal at the property today. Yeah, a little, we're just gonna go do some work. It's been, I mean, not every day in a row, but pretty much for the last two, three weeks, it's been in the negatives. So we're finally up in the 20s. Positive. Upper 20s. 20s. So we're just excited to get outside and do something. So we're gonna go to the property, like you said, do some snow removal, maybe cut some trees, maybe burn some slash. Just it's, go do something. And it's February, we're fully aware we're going to get more snow before spring. But if we get this two to three feet move, the next two to three feet isn't six feet. So we're just gonna go clean some stuff up and enjoy this nice weather. Our lowest last week was negative 36 yeah. degrees Fahrenheit. It was chilly. Today is 27 degrees Fahrenheit. So we are those crazy dogs. I know. Of course. to switch to the GoPro because he takes up so much can't see where I'm going takes up so much space in my arms and brain but we're getting ready to hop on the snow machine and head to the property and that is a serious task with Henry so it takes us a while to get him dressed and happy and see him in there And then I'll use this wool army blanket that I've had for years, a couple different layers of it over the top of him to keep the wind off of him. And we'll head to the property. We won't be taking the dogs. It's about five miles each way. And not a one of them is in shape for that. So they might be in shape to go the five miles there, but they're not going to be in shape to come the five miles back. So the dogs have to stay, unfortunately, but we're gonna go see if we can't get some snow moved around and hang out with our Henry dude in some nicer weather. We do have the truck that will probably run here and there to keep him warm, let him nap maybe, and we'll do nursing and diaper changes in there. So don't worry, we'll be keeping him good and warm. Ready? I was born ready. That's good. Henry? Yep, he's ready. 
Right, we made it. I'm actually kind of overheated. <laughs> How was your ride, dear? How was my ride? No, the other deer. Oh, I didn't. I was noise making. You see that? My ride was glorious. It's like it's like warm. Huh? It's summertime out here. I think I still should have worn my bibs. My knees are a little cold. Can you say that again? A little louder. My wonderful wife told me I should still wear my bibs in case it gets cold. And I said, no, it's like July. And my knees are cold. And I'll least, be okay. At least you give credit where credit's due. I'll be okay. It's really warm, but it's not quite no bibs warm. Am I gonna put on snowshoes today? Maybe when I'm not wearing him. <laughs> that is up to Mr. Henry then. Oh. Okay, so we're gonna get this truck pulled out we call it Big Bird, and get it warming up because the diesel won't quite warm up if it's just sitting anyway. So that can be our Henry station for the day and we wanna pull it out anyway. So that's first task on the docket. It's a lot of snow out here. That is the most important step in cleaning off the track. Get rid of all the other snow you get on there, hit the bump first time and it's right down your neck. That's only the second time I've remembered to clean it off. It took about 12 times of it going down the back of my neck. about two months old now he's growing so fast I'm super excited for summer but also don't want him to keep growing so fast <laughs> hi good morning
not sure. I gotta reboot. That was a really bad sound. It's a good nap. Yeah. He needed it. I can tell. He was morning. so he was tired. Just... Well, we played a bunch when we first woke up. I was thinking about dumping it in the garden. Then, then it's gonna take me forever to be able to start my garden. If Joan says the ground's not froze, do we want to uncover the garden? No. And freeze the ground. If the snow is no, insulating. No, what do you want? You want at least the snow that fell on it to melt. Well, I know. Into the I was ground. just thinking. I don't know. It's just crazy to me. But if the snow's insulating it, let's leave it. So according to everyone, we're gonna get heavy snows in March. Is when it gets heaviest. Yeah. But it'd just be nice to be on top, be ahead of it. I'm we can pile as much as I can on that side. It's just, yeah, it's going to be a lot of snow. It's going to be just as much as there is here. All these piles. I know. It's a freaking lot. I'll pull that truck out. Okay. I think for now I'm just going to park it there. Okay. For today, for running, for keeping it any warm. I let the truck run for half an hour and I didn't turn the heater on. think we're just gonna fall right back asleep which is great I might just put him back on the wrap <laughs> he has been super cozy sleeping on me I might just let him keep doing that so that we can get this at least what we want to get of this snow done we're completely aware things are just slower these days with him and that's totally cool <coughs> if we ever when the day comes that we need to truly get a lot done we have Levi's mom who certainly does not have to be tormented into watching him, so. Every little bit of snow that we move now is that much less snow under the spring snows that we'll get, so. This is kind of just something to get us out of the cabins on some more warm days. Once we get the snow cleared towards the footprint of the cabin, we might cut down some more trees. There's a ton of dead spruce we need to cut down. And we're probably going to use a lot of it for railings for our loft in our cabin. We'll peel it and stain it. So we have kind of a natural railing. And then I also want to build a seven foot tall moose fence around my garden and I want to use spruce for that. Every little bit of lumber that we pull out of the forest is worth it price wise and the railings will just look cool at the end of the day. Which we have a ton of dead spruce trees right at the edge of our pond that we want to clear anyway so that our view clears up towards the pond. So we'll probably get to work on cutting a bunch of those on snow machine. What we can do is we can just drive the snow machine to them if we haven't cleared the snow that far. I don't think we want to clear it in the cabin footprint since the ground's not frozen leave the insulation there if that makes sense of the snow and then clear it before we're ready to start working we'll take the snow machine up to the trees we want to cut down and we'll go ahead and get them cut and then you'll just deal with the stumps that are under the snow when the spring comes for now i think someone is going to go back into his wrap and keep napping without protest so i might do that I think it's getting to be almost three o'clock and we still have daylight. How nice is that? We are over eight hours of daylight. So we do have a lot more daylight, but there is a few more spots we want to clear that I will get out and help Levi with. Oh, <laughs> 
where he's knocking down right now, I'm pretty sure is the path to our outhouse. We want to go ahead and get that built this winter and hopefully set and just ready to go before we're even working on the house slash cabin. Please, I think that's the path to the outhouse. Either way, we want to get the outhouse done. We want to get some slash burnt and a bunch more trees cut down before we even start working on the cabin. The cabin package is coming first week of April. Allegedly, they're still on time and ready to deliver that to us. We're just trying to work on whatever we can do between now and then to be full cabin mode as soon as we can. So that pile behind me there is the slash pile we want to burn. It's not quite as big as the snow makes it look, but it's also smack dab in the middle of my garden, which we kind of discussed. We don't really want to remove a lot of snow from and let that ground freeze when it apparently isn't really frozen. Even if it is frozen, we don't want it to freeze even deeper. If that makes sense, the snow insulates it. So if we can find a way to get to it, next time we might go ahead and get that burnt get some snow shaken off of it because obviously this is the best time when there's a couple feet of snow on the ground to burn a large amount of slash a lot of our slash if you watch during the fall we've been burning in a big pit that we dug that works great but we kind of did a lot of scraping in the garden to get all that out and get the roots out and it just was going to be a lot to get it over to the fire pit and there's a lot of dirt mixed in so if we can just burn it get it down to ashes and then just mix that into the garden we'll be good to go gonna do well I think we got quite a bit done considering yeah. the way the day was starting with Mr. Henry dude yeah he wasn't in a very good mood this morning but man is he sleeping good now yeah you got a lot more done than I thought we'd make time for so yep we got 
this part of the driveway cleared up to the fire pit mm -hmm. and I kind of piled a bunch of snow in there and figure we'll just start a fire on top of the snow it'll melt do what it's gonna do kind of out of space on where to put all the snow so I think I'm just gonna shovel out where the outhouse is gonna go and we can build it there just like that just snowshoe to it <laughs> so my I think we're going to call it a day for today. I think my plan next time we're out here working on stuff, I want to make a path for the snow machine so that we can kind of make a track to mm -hmm. go down, load the sled up with wood that we're going to keep clearing and branches and slash and just make a loop, come back, drop it in the fire pit, go down, get more wood, come back, drop it in the fire pit without yourself a little racetrack that you're not racing on yeah but i want to think about where to put it because it's really once the snow machine packs that snow down then it's really hard to clear yes it's good next time we come down here we can just come right in get a fire going start burning some slash there is a bunch of logs still there under the snow that need to be burned and there's no shortage of trees still to take down so no we're never going to run out of trees to cut down that's for sure but now we're set up. Of course, it's supposed to snow all weekend, so we'll come back and it'll need cleared again. You're going to think I'm weird. But you dug into the ground a little bit and got some of that brush stirred and it smells... Like the property. Like the pro like it, there's a smell. What yeah. is it? It's like... The, the bushes and seeds. and I thought the same thing. <laughs> it took me back to fall, <laughs> clearing yeah. all of the bush. Okay, right. so I'm not the only one. I was like, it smells like home now. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. Handle with care. About, are we wrapping him up and head home? Um, or do you have a little more you want to do? Well, I just want to get our parking organized a little bit because everything's right in the middle. So Yeah. Move the Duramax and get Big Bird stash down there. I'm going to park it down there now. Okay. Just quit putting it here. before dark which is just the blessing of the sunlight these days we're gonna take the dogs for a quick walk while it's still light out get a little energy out of them yeah come on and get Nola. a little energy out of us so quick walk come on Nola let's go let's go oh yeah
Sun's going down. Gotta go. Cut. Cut.